so we act. Let's go. See the strange video from a friend. The friend in question is known as Amanda, and according to Christian, Amanda specializes in talking to the dead. It seems that she's been doing this for a while, so much so that she considers herself as a full-on medium. Given her ability to contact and see the dead, she occasionally gets distracted by things or people that don't appear to be there. In one instance, Amanda was doing a live stream with two friends, when all of a sudden, something from the corner of the room catches her attention. Afterwards, things get pretty strange. Watch. Good? You drink all of it. Yeah. You good? For like 10 minutes this went on. And I'm like, oh my god, could you stop? Oh, you're looking at your cat. No, somebody just walked through my kitchen and Bobby freaked out. Did you see him run? Bobby. Yeah. I see he's the cat, yeah. Bobby. He's, he's still sitting there looking at it. A black cat, too. What is it? And his, like, tail is Yeah, switching. I saw his tail. I'll move. Is the person still there? Bobby, you okay? I don't... What person? Do you see a person back there? I see a cat. A black cat. Let's see where this goes. Oh, it still, like, feels really weird in here, but I only saw it, at, like, for a second. That's also the same direction <laughs> that when you said that there were... Oh my god, it's Brendan. He's outside now, thank uh -huh. god. Brendan? No, he's not. <laughs> he's not, Amanda, no, he's not. No, he's not. There is not. literally... Yep, uh, no. Nah. No one's there. No one's there. It's only you and a black cat and the door just freaking open. Now, do you think this is real or do you do the do you think this is fake? Um, cuz someone could just push the door open, you know. Uh it could be set up, but let's just see. Hey, how'd your door just open? I no one's out there. They're lying. How did her door no, just open? No, I'm not. <laughs> Maybe it was the wind. <laughs> Is he messing with you? No. What, the cat? The cat's messing with you? I mean, we all looking at the cat. The cat is confused also. Like, what is going on? Oh, your mom or something. Yeah, I think I'm gonna text someone. Yeah, call your mother and let her come over here and help you find whoever opened up that door. Most likely that person's gone or was never there or it was just a prank, maybe. I told him to come down here. I, I literally live in the middle of no. You guys saw my door open. Yes, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, so your door opens, you don't know who is there. Um, you just sit there and start talking with your homegirls like nothing's going on. Like you're just going to sit there with your back turned. See, this is why, I'm sorry to say, but white people get killed in horror films. Because if it was me, door opens, and I know no one's supposed to be out there. No one's out there. I am calling 911, and I'm getting the hell out of there. I'm out. I'm going in my car, sitting in my car or something until they come. I am not sitting there with my back turned. No. Initially thinking that Brendan, her husband, no. was messing around with her, she proceeds to open the door. But like something out of a horror movie, she finds no one there. It is at this point when Amanda instinctually shuts and locks the door. Now it seems that Amanda already felt something wasn't right after seeing her cat act strange. Eventually, she came to fully realize this after seeing no one outside her door. It's as though she felt a dangerous or threatening presence. Now, not much else is known about what happened afterward, but until further info is provided by Christian, who thankfully sent this video, it remains a mystery as to what exactly happened that night. What do you think? Is it real or is it fake? In this next video, a woman is recording her neighbor's house after noticing something very alarming. It appeared that something strange was going on inside her neighbor's garage. Now the reason as to why this was unusual was because the neighbor was out of town. They were on vacation far from home, but strangely, the lights inside the garage had turned on. 
The woman who took this video was passing by when she noticed this. But as she continued to watch, something happened that chilled her to the core. Take a look. Oh, you saw that. Oh, I see that. You see that, right? Is that the flash? Like, you know, zooming in the, in the garage? You, you seen the episode in The Flash, right? In the TV show Flash. That's The Flash. Yeah, this is this is like weird. Okay, a shadow figure is just running back and forth in the garage. Um, like I said, the flash perhaps, but um, I doubt it's the flash. But what the heck is that going on in there? Like someone's like building something in the garage or stealing, maybe perhaps. But why the lights flickering? After watching closely to see what was going on, this happens. A figure dashes back and forth in a seemingly frantic manner. It does this for more than a few seconds before suddenly stopping and looking out the garage window. It's as if it was watching the woman who was filming this. If the woman's neighbor was away from home, then who or what was this? As with most videos, this one remains a mystery. So what do you think? Is it real? Is it fake? I don't know what to think on this one. On December 2nd of 2021, at around 9 p.m., affiliates of a Christian church were looking at live footage of something very peculiar that was happening outside their chapel. They were looking at the security camera's live feed to see if anyone appeared on camera, as it was just then that the intruder alarm had gone off. They knew that someone had to be there, given that their alarm system had never felt them. But minutes pass, and no one appears. They continue to watch, hoping to see the intruder emerge from their hiding spot. But instead, what they saw was something totally unforeseen. Take a look. Okay, the door just opened by itself. I was, you saw that shadow figure, right? I was just looking at the shadow figure. Um, that was crazy. Let's just continue. Oh, that's weird. Okay, that is creepy. You've seen that, right? That white figure of smoke of soul. In utter disbelief, the church members watch closely as one of the side doors opens on its own. It opens ever so slowly and remains open as if the door was being held. But strangest of all is what ensues. A strange translucent figure passes through, entering inside the church. The door continues to remain open before immediately closing after the figure exits. The church personnel no doubt believe that something otherworldly had taken place. While there's no definitive answer on what was seen, they still believe that a spirit or something similar had paid them all a visit. Okay, yeah, that right there, I mean, you gotta be a really good editor, um, you know, to do something creepy like that, but that looked like real footage right there. Um, some supernatural spirits, you know, spirit. But the shadow looks so like small, like even like a baby, a child is walking out the door or something like that. I don't understand the whole 
spirit stuff, you know, figures. Maybe you don't have a real shape of your spirit self, so it could be any size. But yeah, uh, so what you think? Real or fake? You be the judge. I think it's real. In the following video, a large crowd of onlookers are standing on a bridge looking at something that's beneath them. The person recording this doesn't exactly show what's being seen by others, but based on the facial expressions of those around him, one can assume that something pretty horrific is being witnessed. Now the man behind the camera commentates on what's being seen, but his voice trembles as he talks. It seems that something about this scene is deeply disturbing for him. After giving a vague and somewhat confusing description of this mysterious event, the video cuts to black. But fast forward to only a few weeks later, and surveillance footage of this mysterious incident is posted online, showing the reason as to why people had gathered on this bridge. Take a look. As it turns out, a car accident had taken place, or unfortunately, the driver's life was taken upon impact. Ah, oh, man, that's, that's terrible, man. You know, someone just dying, on, and you see the video, that's like the worst. I really, wow, I don't know about this, this one, I don't want to talk about it. You know, when it comes to someone actually dying in real life on camera, that's, that's just, out of respect, man, no. However, there's something else about this footage that many people can't stop talking about. It seems that something just as unsettling was captured. Only a few seconds after the accident, this is caught. Is that something in the street right there in the road? I ain't seen a Dakota. Oh my gosh. That's the Grim Reaper? No way. But why is it the Grim Reaper on top of the truck and not the actual car that actual crash? Like that's just insane, like, wow. After looking closely, a dark shadow-like figure can be seen standing on a truck's bed. Although it's hard to tell as to who or even what this might have been, viewers have noted that it seems to be overlooking the wreckage from the car crash. This, along with its physical... Oh, oh wait, 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 I'm, I, I'm, I'm messed up. So this is after the crash. Appearance have led many to believe that this may have been the Grim Reaper caught on camera. Knowing about this video, it's no wonder why the person recording the previous footage felt very unsettled. The bridge itself has a history of claiming the lives of many drivers, which is why it's been dubbed the Death Curve. So if that's the case, you know, there's a lot of people that's dying there at that particular um, highway point. Why are we still... Uh, have it open, uh, you know, this reroute somehow, you know, or have better safety measures over there because people are just dying and dying like it's nothing. I don't understand that part, you know. Seeing the wreckage below and knowing about this eerie footage has naturally made those who know about this place feel spooked. But of course, whether paranormal or not, I'll let you come up with your own conclusions. Was Death himself present at the site of this unfortunate accident? Or was something else caught on camera? Yeah, this is this is this messed up, man. Person died in this, but what do you think? Is it real or is it fake? Well, the Reaper thing, you know, the death we know is real, unfortunately. God rest his or her soul. 
This next video was posted by a woman named Lorley Gons, who states that something very strange was captured in a video that was taken many years ago. The girl in this clip is Lorley's cousin-in-law's daughter, who was about 10 years old when she took this video. According to Lorley, she was filming herself in her bedroom when something pretty spooky happened. The video starts off with a young girl playing with her toys, doing a show and tell of a kitchen playset she was recently given. Now, as the young girl states, this video is for her YouTube channel, which, according to Lorley, is solely based on pretend play videos and toy reviews. What was okay? We got creepy dolls in here. Got those two dolls we just seen, and then this one over there looking like a drunk one sitting in a baby chair at the bottom. That's gonna be interesting. To be an innocent pretend play video turned out to be something completely different. Take a look. Primero tengo este cuchillo. Pues tengo esto que es como para cortar pizza, creo. Tengo esto. Una cuchilla. Dos tenedores así. Una rosita, igual que el cuchillo que mostré al principio. No sé si lo mostré al principio. Y este tenedor amarillo. Pues tiene... Se me está cayendo todo. Perdón, se me está cayendo todo. Eh, dos. I know you thought the same thing when she dropped that toy, the fork, um, that toy on the floor and stuff like that. You thought something was gonna happen. Uh, yeah. Chillos amarillos iguales. I'm looking behind her. Oh, 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 hell no. I know y'all saw that. The baby, the baby. I knew it was going to be the baby. That baby doll. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I, she, he, she did good. She jetted out of there. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Now, that right there, let's see. That's it was great. promptly after noticing the doll's arm lifting on its own that the girl pauses, turns around, and bolts out in a panic frenzy. Wow. Even before this, it appeared that she had already sensed something strange was happening. As if seeing one of her toys suddenly fall by itself wasn't already enough to make her feel unsettled. You know, this I missed that part. I was busy looking behind her and all that. I, I knew I should stay on the doll. I missed when the doll hit the cup over. Now currently, the girl in this video is 14 years old. But despite how old this video is, it continues to haunt her to this day. Just like Lorley and others who've seen this clip, they have no idea as to how the doll seemingly moved on its own. Wow. Was that real or was it fake? Hmm. I say it's real. It's late in the afternoon when a person lying on a gurney records themselves out of boredom. The video begins with not much happening in the beginning but it's what happens only seconds later that's terrifying. Now, very little context is given on this clip, but one can see what's going on. As the person records themselves and their surroundings, they capture this. For almost less than two seconds, the person recording captures seems to be someone or something standing in the corner of the room. Oh, nah. Mm. That's crazy. It's like a spirit, like a, just a white figure standing in the shadow. Its sudden appearance is made even more creepy by the way it looks. 
viewers have noted that it looks extremely thin and palish. But things become even more unsettling after seeing that the space where the figure was seen is now empty. Feeling immensely terrified, the woman behind the camera ends the video. Very little context is given on this footage, but with or without it, the clip is still quite creepy. That's creepy, but um, also it's like, I mean, why was the camera on in the first place? Like, what she was recording in the first place? That's what I want to know. Like, um, I know you could just record whatever you want, but um, yeah, I, I don't know about this one. So was it real? Or was it fake? I have to say fake. At around 2 in the morning, a man named Daniel Palomino was walking alone inside a plaza when something completely unexpected happened. It was actually during a live stream when Daniel recorded this. Now this is something that he often does during his free time. During late at night, Daniel walks alone while simultaneously live streaming on his phone. However, what happened on the night of September 28th of 2023 has scared him to his core. Like any other night, Daniel was live streaming to an audience who were suggesting places he should visit during his walk. One place that was recommended was an old plaza that's believed to be haunted. Although hesitant at first, Daniel heads over to the plaza after realizing how close he was to the place. But this was a big mistake. After exploring the strip mall for more than a few minutes, things started getting weird. Me sale ese efecto. Gente, huele quemado. Gente, huele quemado. Mm, huele quemado, no sé si. Strangely, Daniel begins to smell a burning scent coming from somewhere in the plaza. He tries to find the source of the smell, but gives up before suddenly the scent goes away. Although pretty strange, this occurrence becomes a whole lot creepy after one of his viewers on his live stream tells him this. No, me digan, dicen, dicen la leyenda que hay niños que juegan hasta tarde en la resi. En el casino Garden que está bajo hubo un incendio y murieron personas. No, no, no te... Oh, no, 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 yeah, he said the same thing, and his name is my name, Daniel, so, yo, this is crazy, so, people burnt down there, so he's smelling the, the dead people, basically, I don't know how long ago, exactly, but they burnt there, so he was smelling it, like, so the, Burnt children and stuff like that was coming back to life. According to the viewer, there used to be an old casino inside the plaza that caught fire and took many people's lives. Hearing about this left Daniel totally freaked. He just smelled a burning scent and thinks this might have been somehow connected to the fire incident that occurred years ago. Feeling spooked, Daniel immediately starts to head out. But on his way out, something in the distance makes him stop in his tracks. This is what he saw. Wait, what is this? What the heck is that? It looks like a... I don't know what it looked like. Like, is this an object? Another doll? You know, those are creepy. Okay. Let's start with a cat. A cat? See, it's getting close. That looks like in the same distance. What are you talking about? Wait, me acerco, me acerco. Ni cagando, voy a grabar algo. Oye. ¿Qué chucha es eso? Está que camina, huevón. Está que camina, está que camina. Está que not sure as to what he was seeing, Daniel starts to back away. According to him, whatever this was, it started moving towards him. Now the video's quality makes it hard to see, but Daniel swears that something small was approaching him. He further adds that whatever this was had a stature smaller than a child's. It was immediately soon after that he turns around and finds another exit, but asks if Daniel wasn't already spooked enough, he sees this. 
more. All right, before we go into this, um, that whole thing with the thing getting closer, I didn't see it getting closer. I don't know what he was looking at. Um, it looked like it was not moving, unless it was moving like a turtle. You know, that's it. a reaper okay i was looking at the little the little freaking toy on the step that looked like the toy that was on the step from earlier that was supposedly walking closer i didn't even see that freaking reaper looking right there oh no what appears to be a plush toy is mysteriously placed on the staircase yeah, it was. yeah. It was at this moment when Daniel realized that the toy might have actually been the small figure he'd seen earlier. Not sure how to explain this, he continues to walk away. But then, out of nowhere, a dark figure with a pale face is seen standing near the doll. Viewers of the live stream were just as freaked as Daniel. Just who, or even what, was this? And what was the doll that was apparently seen earlier doing there? Daniel has yet to give any updates on the events of that night. From the mysterious burning smell to the creepy looking figure, there has yet to be an explanation on what was captured. Wow. So, was that real or was it fake? I don't believe it. <laughs> I think it's fake because um, the whole thing with the burning thing, you know, we can't smell it, so he could just be saying that. And then that toy thing moving closely, it wasn't moving that I seen. And then, you know, the camera angle moving back when we just saw the steps is on the steps now. Then we see the figure in the back. I mean, come on, man.